In this unit, we will perform a simple thermal and conductive simulation using the heat solver to simulate ohmic heating in a wire. The copper LEDs, aluminum wire, and glass substrate are already set up in the simulation file. It is important to make sure that the heat solver physics has been set to thermal and conductive. Let's switch to partition volume mode to see how our simulation boundary conditions are assigned. Four sides of the simulation region have been assigned a constant temperature boundary condition set to room temperature. The top and bottom boundaries don't have any boundary condition assigned, so they will be considered thermally insulating by the solver. In addition, two voltage boundary conditions are added and have been assigned to the copper LEDs to apply a voltage to the sides of the wire. This has been done by selecting the solid surface type in the geometry tab for each boundary condition and choosing the corresponding LED from the list of solids. The left side of the wire will be swept from 0 to 1 volt in 6 steps by choosing the range sweep type for the left voltage boundary condition. The right LED will be kept at 0 volt. Let's run the simulation. Next. Right click on the heat solver to visualize the thermal dataset. The thermal dataset will provide the heat flow labeled as Q generated in the wire as a function of voltage as well as the 3D temperature profile of the system as a function of voltage. To plot the heat generation and temperature profile on the plane where the wire is placed, go to the chart settings and select clipped plane from the data visualization option. To see the change in heat generation or temperature as a function of voltage applied to the wire, select V bias left from the list of parameters and use the slider to move between different voltage values. As in all thermal simulations, the boundaries dataset from the heat solver provides the physical area and the net power flow for each boundary of simulation. In addition, when you run a thermal and conductive simulation, the electrical current passing through voltage boundary conditions will also be reported in this dataset. To view the current passing through the wire as a function of voltage, remove all the attributes from the list except I bias left. It can be seen that the current voltage relation is linear as expected from a resistive device. In fact, the resistance of the wire can be easily calculated from the inverse of the slope of this plot, which is 50 ohms.